Hi, I'm Stacey Salvi. I'm standing here with Tim Campbell, the Director of Strength and Conditioning here at the University of Akron. He's been with the university for seven years and specifically with men's basketball for four. We're here to talk with him about his philosophies and get a, a little bit of knowledge about the background of the Strength and Conditioning program at Akron. So we wanted to find out a little bit about your background and your role with the University of Akron men's basketball team. Well, I've been with the program for four years now. Uh, I took over in 2008 and uh, I deal with the day-to-day, year-round strength and conditioning programs for the men's basketball program. Uh, all speed, all agility, all conditioning, and all strength training programs in the uh, spring, summer, fall, and in season. Okay, can you give us a little bit of an insight about your philosophy? I'm a free weight based traditional strength coach. You know, I'm a pull it, press it, squat it guy. We do a lot of Olympic movements, a lot of squatting movements. As you'll see, I'm taking Blake Justice through a workout today. You'll see he's doing all free weight. We're not on any machines. We're using our stabilizer muscles and uh, we're trying to get bigger and stronger. And uh, the guys need to be durable and uh, injury free throughout the season. And speaking of Blake, he's a freshman, and uh, how important is it as a freshman to reach these kids young? It, it's very important. You know, Coming out of high school, typically they're not where they need to be, so a lot of guys can't play right off the bat. So a guy like Blake, he benefits from a year-round strength program before he actually hits the floor, and uh, he's going to have a step ahead of the guys come spring because he's training all season long where the guys are just hitting their maintenance workouts and Blake's hitting his strength, uh, you know, heavy strength workouts throughout the week when other guys aren't being able to do that. Okay, so we're in the newly renovated uh, workout room in the JAR. Can you tell us how exciting it is to have this right here? Oh, it's, it's, it's very exciting. It's tremendous. It's, it's huge for the program. You know, in the past, we've been walking over to the field house uh, for workouts in, in the freezing cold. You know, last year we were doing workouts in the hallway upstairs because we didn't have a facility. You know, so we weren't able to do the workouts that we need to be properly doing to get through a season. This year we've got this brand new facility, 1,700 square feet, um, and I got to personally design it, um, you know, do exactly what we need for, for basketball specific workouts and what we need in season. And it's great, we're, we're uh, able to get more workouts throughout the year. It's more convenient for the guys, we can get extra workouts after practice, it's a, it's a lot more convenient. So as director of strength and conditioning here at Akron, what is the difference between uh, conditioning a basketball player versus a football player or say a, a baseball player? Well, there's a pretty big difference with training basketball. You've got a lot taller, lengthier guys that you gotta be careful with in the traditional movements. You know, I am a pull it, press it, squat it. Traditional guy, I like to use the squat racks. I like to use the bench press for strength. Uh, but you have to be careful with guys that are long. So, you know, the big thing is the progression, being patient with them. Uh, we're doing a lot of Olympic movements from the hang, and we do it from the hang where you wouldn't usually do it with a traditional sport because guys are, guys are lengthy, and you want to take that pressure off the low back but still get the explosive aspect of it. Well, thank you very much, Tim. Um, I'm Stacy Salvi. Thanks again for watching Zips Basketball with Keith Dambrot. We'll see you next time.